Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of PrestaShop Delivery Boy app. Now this Flutter Base app will allow the store owner to ensure the safe delivery of the products. And in today's video, what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you the workflow of the PrestaShop Delivery Boy app at the admins end and at the uh, delivery guy end. So at the admins end, I'll be showing you how the admin would be able to assign a particular order to the delivery guys and the rest of the workflow at the delivery guys end how the delivery guys can accept the order and how can they process the orders there and the different options under their own account panels as well but before i proceed further with this particular video tutorial there please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up so right now you can see that uh, i've uh, downloaded the uh, app for the Presta Shop Delivery Boy from the Google Play Store on my Android devices on my Android device basically and this uh, app is basically available for the iOS platforms as well so today we'll be checking out the Android end itself so to open the app what we need to do is we just need to tap here on the Presta Shop Delivery Boy app and that will bring up the particular app home screen now here you can see that here we have the option to log into the uh, delivery boy app as an admin or as a delivery guy so if i'm going to log in as the admin there i have to enter the email address and the password of the admin there and then tap on the login button so first of all we'll be doing it on the admin's end so let's log into the admin uh, presser shop delivery boy app there so as soon as we have logged into the app you can see the uh, home dashboard is there uh, displaying the location on the map uh, then we have the today's orders section showing the open orders processing orders and the complete orders and above that we have the sales and the orders statistics in a graph there that can be viewed on daily weekly monthly and yearly basis as per the requirement there now if i bring uh, if i swipe from left to right here we can see that the admin has different options here like he has the dashboard section orders delivery boy chat and log out now under the orders the admin will find the complete list of orders uh, there so here you can see that uh, the particular order number 80 was placed by the customer and is in the uh, processing in progress uh, state right now so we can assign this particular order to a particular uh, what we say as the delivery boy agent by tapping on this particular order and after we have opened it up here we can find the details uh, of the customer his payment address his shipping address uh, the date edit shipping method contact number the payment method the item in the list and uh, the rest of the details as well now at the very top you will find the delivery boy option as you can see to assign or to choose a delivery boy you have to tap on the right arrow there and that will bring up the complete list of delivery boys that are available right now so from here we can assign it to John Doe for example so let's assign it to John Doe you can see that the order has been assigned uh, successfully assigned to John Doe and now it says uh, that uh, the delivery boy is John Doe for the order number 80 as you can see right so if I go to the dashboard here on the dashboard we can see the open orders so right now there are none of the open orders because all the orders have been assigned to the delivery boys there. Now under the processing orders, we'll find all of the orders that have been assigned to the delivery boys like the order number 80 that was assigned. And under the complete orders, we'll find the list, complete list of orders that have been completed by the delivery boys or that have been delivered by the delivery guides, right? Now thereafter we have the delivery boy section. So if I go to the delivery boy section here, we'll find the complete list of delivery boys uh, that have been created by the admin. The admin can tap on any of the delivery boys uh, to view the details of the delivery boys like their uh, vehicle number, their email, their type of vehicle, their telephone number and their location on the Google Maps itself. From here, the admin can also edit the details of the delivery boy by tapping on the edit option and can make the changes. Uh, and can tap on the submit button to submit the particular changes to the delivery boy details there apart from that uh, the admin can also add a new delivery boy by tapping here on the add new button and then the admin needs to enter the name telephone number email password the vehicle number his address set the delivery boy status as enabled or disabled uh, choose the bike type and tap on the submit button to create a new delivery boy there 
all right so that was about the delivery boy section and let's swipe from left to right then we have the chat section here we'll be able to chat with the different uh, delivery boys so for example if i want to chat with john doe i can go to john doe uh hello john i have assigned for example i'll enter i have assigned a new order please check we can send this to the particular delivery guy there and the delivery guy can reply back to the admin from his own account panel there so uh, that was about the dashboard orders delivery boy section the chat section and lastly we have the logout option to log out of the uh, of the uh, delivery boy app itself so if i tap here on the logout we'll be logged out now let's log into the delivery agent there so for that we have to enter john doe and then tap on the done and then i'll tap here on the login option so after login uh, i'll have to give the permission to the process shop delivery boy app to uh, access the device location there and uh, after that you'll be finding the same dashboard here as well for the sales and the orders and uh, here you can filter it out according to daily weekly monthly yearly basis the same goes with the orders as well you can go with the daily weekly monthly yearly basis then you can find the open orders uh, the processing orders open orders uh, basically let me tap on the open orders so here you'll find the complete list of orders that have been assigned to you but you have not yet accepted them as a delivery boy under the processing orders you'll find the complete list of orders that you're basically processing you have accepted and you are about to deliver and in the complete orders you'll find the complete list of orders that you have delivered there all right and if i swipe from left to right here we have the sections like dashboard orders account settings chat and logout if i go to orders i'll be able to accept the orders that have been assigned to me as a delivery boy so here's the order number 80 i can accept or decline the particular order as per my requirement so let's accept this order and you can see that the uh, order has been accepted successfully right uh, now if i go to the dashboard here and i go to the uh, processing uh, orders uh, right now it's not showing open orders i can open the order particular order now as a delivery guy agent if i want to deliver this particular order what i need to do is i need to pick it up from the admins uh, or the location there so what i need to do is i just need to first set it as picked so i'll tap here on the picked yeah you can see that it has, it is showing right now that it's been picked right now right after pick now the delivery guy can proceed further to deliver the particular order to the customer's location so here he'll find the location of the customer under the shipping address and he can navigate to that particular location very easily after reaching the location he can set it as delivered or not delivered uh, to deliver it up he has to tap on the deliver option tap on the uh, pay option for the collect amount enter the otp so you have to ask the customer for the otp so i'll enter the customer otp here 85 and i'll tap here on the proceed button and you can see that the order has been delivered uh, to the customer and now this order would be under uh, uh, would be displayed under the uh, what we say as the complete orders so if i go to the complete orders you can find the particular order number 80 under the delivered orders there right and then we have the account settings so that was the workflow of how to deliver a particular order here you can uh, set yourself as online or offline right now you are online you can set yourself as offline as well by tapping on the offline button there and you can give the details uh, of your own self as a delivery boy uh, apart from that we have the chat option so if i go to the chat option here you can see the same message that the admin had sent out to john doe that was hello john i have assigned a new order please check and the, from here the delivery boy can reply back uh, to the admin okay for example delivered uh, the particular order number 80 
and can send this message back to the admin as for the requirement there so that's how the uh, admin and the delivery boys can also interact with each other using the delivery boy app itself using the chat option that is visible there and tapping on the logout button would log out the uh, delivery boy from the presser shop delivery boy app itself so yes that was much about the particular uh, app that's the presser shop delivery boy app and i hope it helped you out in understanding how uh, the admin can assign the orders to the delivery boys and how the delivery boys would be able to accept the orders and uh, deliver pick the uh, pick the orders and then deliver the orders there to the customer's address and how they can enter the otp received from the customers as well and how they can chat with the admin as well as uh, with the uh, and how the admin can chat with the delivery boys as well so yes, that was much about the Presta Shop Delivery Boy app and I hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow there. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements, then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.